Hello friends, today we discuss ERG theory. This is a motivation theory. This theory was developed by Clayton Paul Alderford. Alderford was an American psychologist as well as a consultant. He was born in 1940 and died at the age of 75 in 2015, very recently. ERG theory on motivation is considered as a refinement or the redefinition of Maslow's need hierarchy theory. Because Alterfer developed this theory on the basis of Maslow's need hierarchy theory. We have already studied that Maslow's theory describes five types of human needs. Under ERG theory, Alterfer restructured Maslow's five needs and confined the needs into three types. Thus, according to Alderfer and his ERG theory, there are only three types of needs. These needs are existence needs, relatedness needs and growth needs. ERG is the acronym of these three words, existence, relatedness and growth. Existence needs are the basic needs for the human existence. These include need for necessities. In order to exist in the world, human beings need some necessary items such as food, water, air, shelter, etc. These essentials are necessary for the existence of human beings on earth. Therefore, the needs for these essential items are called existence needs. We have already studied that in Maslow's need hierarchy theory, the basic needs such as food, water, air, etc. have been included under the physiological needs. The need for shelter and safe environment is considered as safety needs by Maslow. Job security, suitable working conditions, reasonable working hours, etc. can also be included under this category. From the diagram, we can understand that the existence needs cover both physiological needs and safety needs of Maslow. In other words, human existence is mainly dependent on satisfaction of physiological needs and safety needs. Next is the relatedness needs. Relatedness means relations with other human beings. This is the need for socialization, interpersonal relations and human interactions. This is the need for friendship and love. It may also be the need for maintaining better relations with the family, friends, superiors, subordinates, etc. Relatedness needs also include the desire for getting social acceptance. People with relatedness needs desire for better positions and status in society. When relatedness needs compare with Maslow's theory, we can very easily understand that Maslow's social needs fall under this category of needs. Some elements of esteem needs such as desire for social acceptance and status are also part of relatedness needs. Next is growth needs. Growth needs include need for growth and development. It includes self-development, personal growth and advancement. Growth needs can be described as intrinsic desire of human beings for personal development. These needs reflect the individual's desire to be self-confident, productive and creative. It is the desire to engage in tasks that require maximum utilization of one's abilities. Maslow's self-actualization needs and some components of esteem needs fall under this category of need. In short, Alterfer categorized the lower order needs such as physiological and safety needs into the existence category. Interpersonal love and some components of esteem needs into the relatedness category.
and uh, the self-actualization needs and uh, esteem needs into the growth category. From the discussion made so far, it is very clear that uh, Alderford's ERG theory tries to simplify need hierarchy theory of Maslow. For the purpose, ERG theory reduces the number of needs from 5 to 3. When we compare Maslow's need hierarchy theory with the ERG theory, we can very well understand that the overall structure of need categories is the same in both theories. We can see some more similarities in these two theories. One similarity is in the upward movement of needs. Both theories talk about the upward movement of needs. That means both theories agree with the idea that the basic physiological needs are the most important needs and they come first. The psychological, social and relatedness needs follow the basic existence needs. And finally, the esteem and growth needs emerge. Thus, the needs are progressive in nature and they start from the physical needs and move upward through psychological needs and reaches at a self-actualization needs at the end. This is the upward trend. That means the higher level needs are emerged only after lower level needs. This is the progressive nature of needs. However, there are some differences also we see in these two theories. The first difference is in the emergence of needs itself. Maslow opined that the needs get activated one after another. Maslow's need hierarchy theory says that one level of need is emerged only after the previous level needs are satisfied. Thus, the first level needs should be satisfied before the emergence of second level needs. Similarly, second level needs should be satisfied before the emergence of third level. But under ERG theory, Alderfer differs with this idea of the order of activation. ERG theory clearly says that the second level needs may arise even before completely satisfying the first level needs. Thus, relatedness or growth needs may become active even before the existence needs are fully satisfied. Another difference is in the activation of multiple needs. Maslow was of the opinion that only one level of need will be active at one point of time. Thus, Second level need will be active only after first level needs are satisfied. At this time, the first level needs are over and the second level is active. Third level needs will be active only after second level needs are satisfied. For example, Maslow says that a hungry man wants to get food or needs food only. He has no social and esteem needs. He thinks about the social relations and status only after he is satisfied with the food. Once he is completely satisfied with the food, he would have no further demand for food, then he needs safety matters. That means when the physiological need is active, there will be no security needs, there will be no social needs. Only one need will be the Thus, according to Maslow's theory, at one point of time, only one type of need will be active. Alderford differs with this idea. ERG theory states that at a given point of time, more than one need may be active and operational. It means, the second or third level needs may emerge even before completely satisfying the previous levels. Here, Alderfer says that a hungry man uh, can desire for a safe house even if he is hungry. He may also have some need for love and career. He also has some prestige and status needs. He has uh, some pride with him. That means a hungry man desires for food, shelter, love, career and social relations at the same time. Thus, Multiple levels of needs are active at one point of time. 
here ERG theory makes it clear that more than one set of needs may be active or operative at one point of time. Another difference is in the downward movement of needs. Under Maslow's theory, the needs are moving upward. This process of gradual emergence of needs is called the satisfaction progression. When one level is satisfied, it is progressed to the next. ERG theory also agrees with this. However, Alterfer points out the possibility of downward movement of needs also. Similar to satisfaction progression, there is a reverse progression also. This reverse progression of needs is termed as frustration regression. Frustration regression. We can see what is meant by frustration regression. Look at the diagram. The bold line shows the satisfaction progression. It starts from existence needs. That means at first the existence needs emerge. After the emergence of existence needs, the second level needs, relatedness needs arise. If relatedness need doesn't get satisfied, what would happen? Of course, the person may get the feeling of frustration. At this situation, the only thing he can do is to avoid maximum satisfaction from the possible means. This is how he tries to get maximum satisfaction from the first needs. Similar process may also happen if the third level needs do not get satisfied. If third level needs are not satisfied, he may try to get maximum satisfaction from the second. This reverse process occurs due to the frustration of not getting expected satisfaction from higher level needs. This is known as frustration regression. The dotted lines in the diagram show the frustration regression flow. Alterfer says that when there is no possibility of getting satisfaction to the higher needs, human beings may think about getting more satisfaction from the lower needs. That means when the higher level needs are not satisfied, the person may get frustrated and it would urge the person to concentrate on lower needs. And thus he tries to get maximum satisfaction from the lower needs. Thus, ERG theory establishes that similar to satisfaction progression, the frustration regression is also existed in human beings. Another difference is in the rigidity of the theory. Maslow's need hierarchy theory is regarded as rigid as it assumes that the needs follow a specific and orderly hierarchy. And unless a lower level need is satisfied, an individual cannot proceed to the higher level need. ERG theory of motivation is not rigid in this aspect and very flexible as it is perceiving the needs as a range rather than perceiving them as a hierarchy. According to Alderfer, an individual can work on growth needs even if his existence or relatedness needs remain unsatisfied. Thus, he gives explanation to the issue of starving artist who can struggle for growth even if um, he is hungry. The doubts raised on starving artist had not answered properly by Maslow's need hierarchy theory. Have you heard about a starving artist? The term starving artist is often used to criticize Maslow's need hierarchy theory. Starving artist is an artist who is very much passionate in his artworks. He is very poor and often does not get enough food or other materials even for his existence. But even if he has no money, no food, no other materials um, for his minimum requirements, uh, minimum existence, he puts his efforts to create more and more art creations. It is his passion towards the art. It is his craziness towards creativity. Some artists, musicians, actors, etc. are having such a passionate behavior towards their creativity. Even if the artist is hungry and has no safe environments, he is thinking of creating his masterpiece. The starving artist does not follow the need hierarchy theory. As per Maslow's theory, a hungry man cannot think of social and esteem needs. 
But the starving artist is attempting to satisfy his esteem and self-actualization needs, even if uh, he is hungry. He is trying to create his masterpiece, even if he has unfulfilled physiological safety and social needs. Maslow says that humans cannot proceed to higher needs unless his lower needs are satisfied. But here, the artist is behaving against this theory. Therefore, behavior of starving artist is often used to criticize Maslow's lead hierarchy theory. At the same time, ERG theory gives a satisfactory explanation to the behavior of starving artist. ERG theory states that at a given point of time, more than one need may be operational. Now we can summarize the ERG theory. ERG theory is an improvement from needs hierarchy theory. ERG theory does not assume that there exists a rigid hierarchy. Unlike Maslow's theory, ERG theory says that more than one need may be operative at the same time. Another important point is the frustration regression aspect of ERG theory. When growth need aggravates, then an individual might be motivated to accomplish the relatedness needs. And if there are issues in accomplishing relatedness needs, then he might be motivated by the existence needs. Another important aspect of ERG theory is its ability to answer the starving artist issue. According to Alderfer, an individual can work on growth needs even if his existence or relatedness needs remain unsatisfied. Thus, he gives an explanation to the issue of the starving artist who can struggle for growth even if he is hungry. Okay. Hope that you can understand the concept of ERG theory. We can meet in the next class with another topic. Thank you.